Hey guys, Chris here for Thomas Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I will explain the Evertune Bridge. In this series, I want to show you how to fix the most common issues and how to set up your guitars and basses without too many special tools. This time we'll talk about the Evertune Bridge. It's a clever system and it has quite some benefits, especially if you're playing heavy rhythm stuff. In case you enjoy Guitar Tech Tips, make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. The only tool you'll need is a 2.5mm Allen key. You will set up the tuning, the intonation and the string action with this one key. The screws at the back are there to set up the intonation. If you turn the screws clockwise, the octave of the string will go flat. And if you turn them counterclockwise, the octave will go sharp. The top set of screws will adjust the string action. If you don't know how to set up the intonation or the string height, we have some videos for you linked in the description box. This was all pretty standard for guitar bridges. Now let's see what's special about the Evertune. Let's tune it. You'll find a third set of screws right here on the saddles. Well, basically in the saddles. These will tune the strings and you will have to adjust them together with the machine heads. Every tune bridges have a clever spring system that keeps the string tension no matter what you do. Bends, heavy picking, etc. Let's call this the green zone. You will only use the tuning pegs to get into this green zone. As soon as the pitch doesn't change anymore, you're there. Now tune up until you leave the zone and then go back just under this limit. You will use this screw to tune the string to the right note and check with the machine head if you're still in the zone. If you stay in this green zone with the tuning pegs, you will have the maximum Evertune effect, which means that you will have no bends and you will have the maximum tuning stability. And if you want the bends and you want your guitar to react normal as if it didn't have the Evertune bridge, go on the green zone's edge, the upper edge, and uh, stop just before your string starts to go sharp. <laughs> You can of course decide per string if you want this no bend Evertune effect or not. I've set up the low strings to be in the green zone and the high strings to bend and react normal. And now it's time for a test fight. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have any experience with Evertune Bridges. Did you like it? <laughs> I think it's a really cool bridge type for heavy rhythm playing, especially for recordings. On vintage style guitars, I think I still prefer the classic bridges though. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. Thank you. Just random questions, bam, 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 too much. Ah!